Quebec-based store chain Simons has have just released a new project. It's called All is Beauty. The video tells the story of Jennifer and her final days before receiving medical assistance and dying. We see her surrounded by loved ones, connecting with nature, drawing lines in the sand with a stick as waves so rush beautiful. over, all while speaking frankly about her decision. This is, this is from the ad. Beautiful Even music, now, like Enya. As I seek help to end my life, with all the pain, and in these final moments, there is still so much beauty. I mean, they also ripped it off of you American just have to Beauty. Be brave enough to see it. Brave enough to see it. The company says this is not a commercial campaign, but that they wanted to but, share her touching not story. A commercial campaign, Peter but, Simons is the chief merchant at Simons, Simons and he joins us merchant. now to tell us more about the project. Listen. Good morning. Good morning to you. Why'd you do nice it? Nice to have you with us. Uh, people might be surprised to see a company Maybe. like yours do a project like this. What was the thinking behind it? Listen to this. We really felt after everything we've been through in the last two years and everyone's been through, uh, we we wanted and we felt that uh, maybe it would resonate more to do a project that's less commercially oriented and more focused on inspiration and values that uh, we hold uh, uh, dear at Simons. And uh, after meeting Jennifer and and and, and, and finding her inspirational, we wanted to tell her story because we felt it was uh, worthwhile and important yeah. and and uh, inspiration we've been through in the last Ver verbal what diarrhea. What was the thinking behind this? this? We really felt after everything we've been through in the last two years. We really felt like after everything we've been through in the last two years, we should make a promotional video about euthanasia. Medical assistance in dying uh, is the euphemism. We really felt that um, after two years of soul-crushing financial devastation, uh, isolation, stress, anxiety, we, should, we really felt compelled to tell the story of one woman's brave, brave journey to end her own life. We really felt it was, it was I keep, I'm trying to record the actual audio for this because I have a feeling this might not be online for much longer. We really felt that we, we, we should go tell the story of euthanasia after two years of psychological devastation, economic devastation, social devastation, spiritual community devastation. We wanted to make a video about this. It's not, it's not an ad campaign, but, and by the way, to whomever said, uh, is there an intro that Viva doesn't screw up? I've been on a roll these days. I didn't screw up this intro. The content of that tweet did because I had it on incognito, but apparently that interview, that ad campaign, Twitter finds to be adult subject matter and you need to be logged in to view it. So I had to go log in to get uh, the ability to play that clip. I, um, how do you not, how do you not uh, feel like the world is going crazy and crumbling around you when you, when you hear stuff like this? Go listen to the interview. Uh, the link is in the tweet, and I'll share the link now. And I would suggest that everyone goes and, and listens to that interview because I, I, it might not be up there for much longer. Simon's All is Beauty interview. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to everybody so everybody can watch this on their own. Uh, Julie Caron, All is Beauty. Jennifer, here we go. This is it. You can all go... Go, go watch this. L listen to the entire thing on your own. I mean, other than the fact that the guy says, App, why did why did, why did you tell the story? Well, we really felt that after two years of, of COVID devastation, we found her inspirational, interesting, and inspira I mean, verbal diarrhea. And then you get into the interview itself. And they say, what? she asked him the question. It's a decent question. Although I didn't like the way she phrased it. She says, some people are going to say this is a delicate discussion that you shouldn't be you know, dipping your toes in this, in, this, in this pool. Others might say you are shamelessly exploiting it and I dare say promoting something that corporate interests have, have no, um, I won't say right, they have no business getting involved in. But 
the interviewer, because she works for the CBC, uh, and they are the propaganda arm of the liberal government, uh, she says, what do you have to say to the cynics who say that you shouldn't be doing this? Uh, Jennifer, it's not cynics who think that this should not be done. It's realists. That This is not for branding or corporate gain, but we decided to do it. I so If you haven't seen, there's a 30-second clip circulating on Twitter. Um, I went to YouTube and found the original three-minute video. Uh, do, here it is, All is Beauty. Oh, it's, got, it's got a million views in a month. I mean, they, they didn't do it for corporate interests, but my goodness. Is it, is it Dying ever Dying in a hospital is not what's natural. That's not what's soft. In these kind of moments, you need softness. I'll give you that as well. I'm not going to play it. A, A for moral reasons, but also for copyright reasons. Mostly for moral reasons, because I think it would still be fair use, but I'm not, I don't care. Um, the 30 second clip had been circulating on Twitter. I went and saw that there's a three minute video and I watched a video and I said, look, if this were the project that the um, individual in the video who, who, who ended her life made, it would be one thing. If she came to Simons and said, look, I want to make this video, uh, fund it. Okay, I could understand that. From the interview, Simons made this video, but uh, the woman in the video, I forget her name and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I have an issue with names and everybody knows that. They said Simons made the video because they wanted to shed light on this. They thought it was a story that needed to be told. She had full veto power. She had full creative control. And the interviewer says, how did she like the video? She saw the final product before she ended her own life. And uh, Peter Simon said she, she liked it. She had full creative control, but we made this video. We made this movie. It's not even as though an individual says, I want to tell my story. I don't have the means to do it before my final day. Can you sponsor it? This is, it's, 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 it's shameless exploitation at worst. And it's, Corporate indoctrination, let me rephrase, shameless exploitation at best, and it's corporate indoctrination at worst. And I want to specify something out there for everybody. I do believe in one's ability to choose to end their own life. I do, uh, under certain conditions. I'm not, um, I'm not uh, against euthanasia in the proper sense when people find out they are terminally ill, but for a miracle or for an, uh, you know, an act of God, uh, they're terminal, scientifically, medically terminal. These days, you know, there's been enough distrust sown in the medical community that I would rely on a miracle from God with, um, you know, not as much certainty. If you're diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, statistics are statistics. I am not, uh, I, I do believe in the ability for someone who is terminally ill with no prospect of treatment, who doesn't want to die in a hospital, to, to respectfully, humanely end their life. That's not where we're at in Canada anymore. We're at in Canada, 2021, 10,064 people were euthanized. And that is if you trust the numbers and I don't trust the numbers because I've heard anecdotal evidence that people are being pressured into doing it. I've heard anecdotal evidence direct from sources who just don't want to yet come public. They're being pressured into it and they're not terminally ill. And now in Canada, as of March, when the sunset provision on prohibiting euthanasia, state sanctioned termination of life for the mentally ill, when that sunset clause fades into the sunset, oh, we're going to go from 10,064 in 2021. We're going to break new records in Canada. There is a big difference between compassion and convenience. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm, not, I, I'm not against it. I, I, I am, I'm not milk toast. I have very reasonable and very defensible positions on gun control, on abortion, on euthanasia. Some people will call me a fence sitter. Some will call me too far to one side. Another will call me a liberal nutcase. Um, depends on who's asking. But I'm not against it, but it, it, it should be the last resort. And like Chet Chisholm says, not an act of convenience because they can't get proper housing. 
They have allergies. These are actual cases in Canada. Uh, and they can't find adequate affordable housing. And the government authorizes their euthanasia. There's another word for that. Yeah. Soldiers with PTSD calling up for support, getting recommended made medical assistance in dying. There's another word for that. Oh, it was an accident for which Justin Trudeau apologized. Um, and yet they're legalizing euthanasia for the mentally ill as of next year when that provision, when that restriction under the law fades into the sunset.